look at that isn't that gorgeous mm. Mm -mm -mm. every single day i'm gonna Hello friends, welcome again to another amazing episode. Right here I am soaking some black rice in water. The instruction said to soak it for 10 minutes before I get it into the rice cooker. So we are having a very interesting and elegant dinner, I must say. I'm making black rice with curry, shrimp and lobster tail. This is such a simple meal to make, but absolutely delicious. And you know, lobster is pretty heavy on the pocket, so when I see them on sale in the frozen section, I go ahead and buy them and put them down. So that's a good tip if you're a lobster lover, but you don't have lobster money. When you see them on sale, just buy one or two here and just keep them frozen in your deep freezer or your freezer so these lobster tail are frozen and i'm just cutting them down the back so that it'll be easier for removal once they are cooked once the meat is cooked it'll be easier to take it out once you open up the back so we're gonna go ahead and thaw out the lobster tail and the shrimps i love me some jumbo shrimp these were totally delicious. So sit back and enjoy the video and um, you'll hear me throughout. All right, God bless. Okay, so now we have washed our rice that has been sitting in water for 10 minutes. I have one cup of rice and the instruction calls for 1.6 cups of water. And I'm just going to add a bit of salt to that. And I only use the pink Himalayan salt. Um, it's the salt of my choice because I just like the flavor. I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna use regular salt, but I really love this stuff. Just gonna add a bit of salt there, as you can see. And one more ingredient, and that will be it for the rice, guys. Just as simple as that. Adding some extra olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. And that's it, guys. Put it in the rice cooker. Once it's done, do not remove the lid until 10 minutes after um, the light has come off. And that's all I did and the rice was absolutely perfect. Now we have in the pan over here some oil, of course, um, onions, and we are just adding that beautiful curry. The curry adds such a beautiful flavor and color. It is absolutely amazing. So this is in Jamaica, which you probably will hear me say this every time I cook curry. We tend to um, burn the curry. It's not really burning it. You're just waking up the flavors. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a few figs, a, a few figs, a few pieces of thyme. I want to go on here, so anyways. A few pieces of thyme and yes don't forget to season your meat I just added some garlic powder and of course y'all know I'm famous for this Maggie all-purpose seasoning you can use it on pretty much any dish you're cooking absolutely beautiful stuff just amazing just adding some black pepper 
and that's it guys we are just gonna give that a mix all right guys so now we are just sauteing up those nice herbs now it's time when they see me stacy's kitchen of course look at that guys look at that Manalai. it looks so succulent i could just eat it i want to go back to the day i made this trust me <laughs> right and just eat this again it was so delicious anyways we're adding some of my beloved coconut i love coconut milk um, and it's just become one of my favorite ingredients to use in the kitchen. Dessert, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I mean, coconut milk is just all over the spectrum. Coconut is such a, a blessed, <laughs> blessed, blessed food. It's a super food, if you ask me. All right. So look how it just carries the curry so well. And... It's totally amazing. And it makes for a nice, thick and rich gravy as well. All right, you know, so I had to switch it up because that other phone was not doing my food, no justice. It was not representing Stacy's kitchen. L guys, look at the quality. Look at the quality. That That's why YouTubers spend money on trying to get the best quality equipment so that we can bring our passions to you guys you see the difference right between the lg and the iphone 13 pro the lg it was the lg velvet and this is the iphone 13 pro so look at the quality amazing right um it really hit my pocket deep but you know you can go on a phone plan and and and, and spread it out right Anyways, I, I wanted to show you the difference between both phones, right? And leave in the comment section, were you wowed at the transition? <laughs> Did you like it? We're going ahead and we're just adding a bit of salt because, you know, I taste as I go. Yes, love. So leave in the comment section if you were wowed by the transition and just the changing of the, the camera. Let me know. What is a camera phone may I use anyways? Look, we have to pull out Stacy's hot sauce, you know. Of course, guys, you can put that on anything that you're cooking that's savory. May I tell you, totally delicious, right? and um very simple to make i do have a video and maybe i can find that and put it in the description maybe i need to start doing that so that you can see exactly how i make this pepper sauce all right guys we're gonna let that simmer and we're just gonna add a bit of veggies and my veggies of choice is bell peppers look how colorful they are they really complement this dish very well and I actually cut these um, bell peppers a few days prior. So what I realized is that busy mom, I need to be more organized. My kids take up a lot of time, which I am, I'm not complaining. They deserve all my time. So I want to limit the time that I do spend in the kitchen um, even though I love to cook, you know, my children are my priority. So I cut them up. I, I diced a few. See, I'm adding a little bit, little bit more salt. I diced a few and I julienne a few of the peppers so that I have the julienne ones ready for my salads. And the ones that are diced, I can use them in my stew, in my eggs, you name it, right? So... That's just a tip for those of you who want to get more organized. You can wash and dry your peppers, cut them up, dice them, julienne them, however you want to cut them, put them in a Ziploc bag, 
and whenever you're cooking you just go ahead and take some out you see i didn't have to spend any time cutting up the pepper or anything like that but you see like your onion and stuff i'm not sure if you can cut up um scallion i'll try it you know just for time sake and just to get everything organized coming I mean, like when everything pack up nice and pretty in the fridge you know it just it just looks good and it just motivates it motivates me um to just be a bit more organized and so that's one of my other things that i need to do and i need to master 2022 is organizing my life my home my kitchen and everything else all right so isn't that beautiful guys you know the one thing that now that i'm looking at it the only other thing i would add is a few pieces of okra yeah man i think that would have just turned it up to another level but i wasn't thinking i wasn't th I, was, I think i was just too excited but i'm gonna make this again and i'm going to put okra in it and let y'all know how it turned out so oh yes when you're cooking curry another ingredient that loves curry is ginger so i'm just putting a few pieces of ginger um which enhances the flavor because you know honey um honey <laughs> honey <laughs> you know um curry is from I, I think it's turmeric i think it's from a a plant that looks like ginger and they grind it down into fine powder and it it becomes curry as we know it and it's a part of the ginger family so no no wonder why they go together so well guys this food look epic minalai and i'm not gonna be using the other phone now that i see in plain sight the difference minara no unless i absolutely have to and i'm in a position where i can't use this phone but trust me guys let me know look at that it's pretty natural all right come on guys let's eat hello everyone <laughs> dinner is done and i am digging in but before i dig in out of excitement i want to thank the lord because i'm grateful heavenly father i want to thank you for this awesome meal i ask that you bless it in the name of jesus i pray bless those who don't have bless those who do have that they will continue to have and those that don't have lord god will you provide for them in jesus name amen Mm -hmm. I forgot. Mr. Nathaniel is with me today. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm washing down this dinner with some good old pineapple juice. Pine juice. Mm. I'm not lie. The rice is so good. It's just a little bit of salt. A little bit of um, olive oil and water and that's it it is cooked to perfection oh my goodness <laughs> may lie this nicer than white rice mm -mm. and the gravy look at that Look at that. The camera now focus on it. And now zoom in. But look at that. It's gorgeous. Where are you going? Where are you going? Here. Here. Mm hmm You want some juice? Is that what you're coming for? Mm -hmm. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Mm. That is good. Mm. I could just eat the rice and the gravy and call it a day. But we have some goodies on this plate. Oh my goodness. I'm all about dinner made easy. I'm gonna go in for the shrimp. Y'all know I'm a shrimp lover. And when you cook shrimp in the shell, it retains all that flavor. It makes such a difference when you cook with the shell on. Even though some people think it's annoying to pick it off, I don't mind because the flavor that you get, it's like cooking chicken soup without the bone. It is the bone that give it that depth in flavor. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Come here, take a bite. Take a bite. Some more. I'm gonna back up my baby. Mm -hmm. Play you on play now. Mm -hmm. Daniel? Yes. Yes, mommy. Come here, baby. Taste this rice and tell me if you like it. You like it? Yeah. I want to taste the lobster. I haven't had lobster like this in a while. Actually, I don't think I've made curry lobster before. I think it's my first time. Come to think of it. Yeah. It's my first time making curry lobster. It's a bit of a pain to get it out. My hand is messy. I'm butchering this guy, butchering this. Let's go for it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm getting out a much better piece. All right. Mm -mm. That was good. show you look at that look at that isn't that gorgeous mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. the shrimp Alongside the lobster, you can definitely tell that I'm a family. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
I'm not lying. This black rice is one of the best rice I've eaten. I just followed the direction on the on the bag and it came out perfectly. Amazing. Thank you again for watching another amazing video. Please, if you like my content, share and subscribe. And I'll, I'll see you. Oh, don't forget, hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. Bless up yourself.